in 1913, the money power of the country was taken away from the people by constitutional privilege it belongs with the Congress, but it was given up in the Federal Reserve Act. The Federal Reserve is no more federal than Federal Express, but yet it has the power to determine the direction of use of money in our economy. If we could take that power back and put the Federal Reserve under Treasury, we start to be in a position of being able to control monetary policy on behalf of the United States people. We also have to address the issue of the fractional reserve system, which is how banks create money out of thin air. And then as they do that, they've created the conditions where we've had this kind of Ponzi scheme collapsing uh, banks and the hedge funds working uh, together. So we have to halt the bank's privilege to create money by ending the fractional reserve system. Past monetized credit would be converted into U.S. government money and banks would act as intermediaries accepting deposits and loaning them out to borrowers, fine. But then with the ability to control our fortunes, we then, once we control money again, we spend the money into circulation and infrastructure. Not just the physical infrastructure, but also on health care. We not only can address housing needs, rebuilding America's infrastructure, but we can also get people to health care they need in this country. We can enable children to stay in school, to go back to school. We really have the opportunity to take control of our own destiny again.